Hey, everybody. Oh, there's already a whole crew here. Hey, E.D. Hey, Pippi. Hey, Tugboat. I'm glad you all made it. I hope you're having a great Friday. Well, last week was um, uh, wait, was it last week or the week before? San Diego Comic Con, and they announced that I was doing a horror uh, story with um, David Destmalchen and um, Leia Kilpatrick, and um, but then this week they showed off uh, some of the pages, and so I thought I would show them here too. These are the first couple pages. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, hello, All Out Bikes. Hey, Stacy. <clears throat> Thanks, man. I hope you're doing well, too. I am doing pretty good. I am almost done with my whole crunch mode, and then I'm hoping to take... Um, probably at least a whole week off, which is um, pretty rare occurrence around here. So I'm very excited about that. But I got to finish this story first. So I was pretty proud of the, um, the neon effect on this. I thought that turned out nice. And so the story is about uh, these little monster kids, and they're going through a haunted house, but um, all the haunted stuff is like humans going through therapy, and it skeezes them out. It's funny. I'm pretty happy with this panel, too. Ah. Hey, Rudak. Yeah, 50 cents is a really good price for a haunted house nowadays, especially with the huge cast. Man, like these pages have taken me forever. I did not really think about it when I started on this, but this page has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 figures on it. And um, it's remarkable how slow that goes when you have to, like, work out every single pose for everybody and have to keep track of, like, where they are in relation to each other and all that kind of stuff. It can be tough. So, but I'm real close to being done with that. I think I'm going to finish, finish it up tomorrow, which is going to be really exciting. Hey, Mark. Yeah, I think there's a lot of very beautiful pages in this little story. I think people are going to like them. But I probably won't be able to sell them until October when, when the book comes out. Usually that's how I do it, so I don't risk spoilers about stuff. So today... I had it in my head that I would do um, some figure drawing because I haven't done any in a very long time. Um, and I found this website called Sketch Daily. It's uh, references.sketchdaily.net. And it has a lot of great stuff on it. It has... Um, let me see if I can zoom in so we can look at our options. Like, this thing's actually really cool. You can choose to do full body. You can choose uh, all male, female, a little bit limited. 
clothing. You can do nude or clothed. You can do an action or a stationary pose, um, different side, different angles. And then you can have it set for how many seconds you want to look at each one. So if we do like clothed action, I think I'm going to do clothed just because of the tubes. Um, but if we keep it on 30 seconds and you start, then you get a picture to try to draw. And then it'll change every 30 seconds. And yeah. I don't know. Let's see if it's any fun. Yeah, this is just a website to ED, so it's totally free. Um, Reference.sketchdaily.net. And if I can remember, I'll put it in the um, show notes. And then say 30 seconds passed, and so now we got a new one. Yeah, so let me see if I can get this set up on so the camera can see everything. There's a lot of weird ninja pictures in here. Ninjas with guns. And then you have like um, little controls. So if you wanted to, oh, that was stop. Start for 30 seconds. And we'll just do a couple real quick gestures. Thirty seconds. That's funny. I um usually when I do figure drawing, I am working from a nude model. Like most of the figure drawing I've done in my life has been like with an actual model. And Drawing nudes is way easier than clothes. It sort of instantly feels way harder to try to figure out what the heck is going on with all these people. This lady's outfit is fantastic. Oof. It is hard to figure out that arm.
they snuck a nude in here. I have actually don't have any idea what um, YouTube's policy is about nudes and art. There used to be a a figure drawing channel where they had nude models on here and they moved it and I don't know why. All right, let's do some longer ones. Let's go to two minutes. Man, it is really hard to, like, I cannot do this and watch the chat. Hey, Kristen. Yeah, it was it was definitely because of the nudity, but I just was like, I'm not sure what the what the line is for YouTube about nudity. Like I would have thought that they would just like demonetize them or something, but um but apparently they kicked them off the site entirely. Yeah, let's try two minutes. We got clothed. Well, let's do all. Start. <laughs> Look at this dude. Yeah, what kind of navy is this? I've never seen an enlisted man that dressed like this before. This uniform is a disgrace.
This reminds me of like uh, Bill Sienkiewicz's character from like Stray Toasters or something. Yeah, there's a, a little bit of a culture clash between these last two. Feels like you could use this for um, figure drawing and also to like um, come up with stories. or characters or whatever. Although I'm having a little bit of second <laughs> second thoughts about using this app. I was like, because I used it once um, earlier in the week. I did not think that the closed version would be quite so risque, which doesn't really bother me, but um, I don't know how everyone else feels. And I am feeling very out of practice.
All right. So elegant. <clears throat> oh, I totally missed the Looney Tunes building. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mark. All right, let's try clothed. Try all, all. All right, 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and jump. And we'll see if we can do some watercolor. <clears throat> yeah, I'll have to go back and watch the replay because I cannot, I don't think there's any way to bring up, uh, bring an image back. I don't know if that lady was doing a legit yoga though. That yoga mat was a little bit suspicious. Oh, we have Tibbs giving us a guest appearance. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Got some swashbuckling. Oh, these pants are weird. Like, what is this giant lump? <laughs> also, now that I'm into the boots, like, these are definitely more like um, 80s club boots than, like, pirate boots.
Yeah, I know. Come on. Oh. Man. I <laughs> know, little girl. You're very sweet. Thank you. Your dinner is coming up soon. So this has been like my basic approach for doing figure drawing in watercolor for a long time. And I don't know, it probably needs some reconsidering, but basically it's, a, it's actually really similar to how I do my comic book pages where I start off with local colors and then shadow. Ugh. Yeah, this is a it's kind of a rough thing to do on stream. Yeah, I'm not like afraid to do bad drawings on stream, but I don't have to like it.
<laughs> Thanks, Tyler. I don't know if it's courage or foolhardiness. Forty nine seconds on the clock. I'm just going to use this brown for fingers. Pause this at at oh, I lost it. I thought I could pause it and noodle with this just a little bit more, but no. I don't know how to use the thing good enough. What did I miss in the chat? Thanks for dropping by, by the way, Tyler. It's good to see you. It does look like Melissa Milano. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know all the stories about why she has brown fingers. I like this little um, reverse sword thing that I made up just so I could make you let you see the sword a little better it's kind of fun one of the things about doing watercolor on a against a timer is just that like I rely so much on um, stuff to dry that um, can become a mess when you're rushing like this. <clears throat> oh, no, it turned out kind of okay. Nothing magical, but I don't know. When I used to do figure drawing on the regular, I would go like every Saturday morning when I lived in San Diego, there was a really good um, figure drawing group. And um, I would go in every, every Saturday with the intention that I would um, get all my bad drawings out of the way. And um, that was a very productive way of going about it for me anyway. Yeah, I could use the hairdryer, but even that, like, I'd have to pause and take some time to to get it blow dried. Let's try a fifteen minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Clothes pose all. Yes. Oh my god. This guy is very thoughtful. So you can't see it, but right now I'm standing up so I can get a better angle on this. Right now I have like my desk laid flat and it makes, it makes comparative drawings like this kind of hard. Usually I would sort of sit it up on an easel.
<clears throat> the hard part to remember is always to like lock in big shapes first. That's true for almost every kind of drawing. Man, I am not getting, like, the overall proportions right on this guy. Man, this guy's style is incredible.
I need to get my Adidas game on. What's interesting about this pose is just the, how it's, it's just a giant silhouette. He's just a giant black mass.
Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, I think I'm going to skip this one. That looks really fun, but I wanted to try to get a little bit more on these stairs. And then I think I'm going to call it quits for the night. I don't know. I don't know if doing figure drawing on stream like this is very good. Like, I feel like figure drawing in particular is one of those places where you have to really be present in what you're doing. And like, you shouldn't be live streaming at the same time. I should be just thinking about drawing. What I miss in the chat. <laughs> uh, talk about this model is too busy, like trying to sell people ketamine down at the club. They don't, they're not in the chat. Oh, Tyler, Tyler boss asks, uh, 
how have you found the difference between writing versus when you're drawing to be as far as concentration and process? You can listen to different things when drawing versus writing. I cannot listen to anything with lyrics when I'm writing, but I do like to have music going when I'm writing, but it also needs to be like very down tempo. If it gets too like um, up tempo, it goofs me up. When I'm drawing, I am like listening to music and listening to podcasts and listening to audiobooks and stuff. Um, so I get a lot of, um, I can do just about anything while I'm drawing. But um, yeah, when I'm, when I'm writing, it's my brain is busy. All right, so I'm going to call that a night. Thank you so much, everybody, for showing up. I really, um, really appreciate it. It's always really fun to see everybody. Um, yeah, next week I'll come up with something where I can actually see the chat while I'm working. All right, I hope you all have a great weekend. And don't forget to tell the people that you love exactly how much you love them all. And I love all you guys. So see you next week.